This is a quick overview of Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts can be used with a computer or a mobile device to send messages, make a phone call, or participate in or initiate a video call. First, you'll need to make sure you're logged into your Google account, then go to hangouts.google.com. Once you're there, you can click on one of these options. So I'm going to click on Message. Once I've clicked on Message, I can decide who I want to send a message to. If I don't see somebody in the list, I can search for them. So I'm actually searching for one of my other accounts, which is my school domain. I'm going to click on it. It's going to open a window at the side where I can type a message. Welcome to Google Hangouts. And it pops in there and then it would go back and forth between my other self or the person you're actually text messaging and you going back and forth with text messages. I can quickly make some settings in here if I need to. I can also go on and change it to a video conference if I want or add other people. So I'm going to close this window with the X right here. Next I can make a phone call. So if I click on phone call I simply can look for someone's phone call or phone number that I have here. I could search for somebody or I could type in a number. I'm going to type in my office number and then I'm going to call. It also gave me the option to send a text message. Okay, my phone is ringing right now, so if I answered it here in my office, I would then hear my voice coming through there and I can hang up on my other phone or just click the hang up red receiver that you saw on the window. The third option is a video call. So on a video call, I can click on that and now I have the option to create a video call and you see me on the screen instead. So now I can invite other people, Julian Reed at SGIS, and I could go on and invite myself if I wanted to. I'm going to quit this right now and just show you what the screen looks like. So this is the screen for a video call. I have some settings up in the top with the gear that I can set to make some different um, cameras be accessible, to make sure I'm using the right microphone and the right speakers, etc. And then I can click done. I can simply dial the person that I want to dial now. So I could invite someone and dial them. I could use mute my microphone if I want, unmute it, mute my camera, and unmute it. And then when I'm done, I just simply hang up. And that's how I do a video call. So those are the three options I have right here. Also on the left-hand side of the window, you'll see these three bars. Anytime you see those three bars with Google, that's some type of a menu to look at. So I can look at that. I can see my contacts here. I can look at conversations or chats I've had with other people, look at my phone calls, invitations I've received, and I can find out where I can download apps for my mobile devices. I also have some settings down here where I can access the settings and see some other options for my Google Hangouts. On the left hand side, I once again have my contacts. I can quickly change the conversations with the text message. I can quickly change the phone calls and I have these three dots for more, which also pops up this side menu. The last thing I wanted to show you is that you can do Hangouts on Air and Hangouts on Air is where you broadcast a Hangout. It's actually broadcast over Google Plus and instantly archived to your YouTube account, which makes an, an excellent way to store and archive broadcasts that you might want to save and publish in other ways. So maybe for a flipped classroom lesson, professional development, or possibly um, just for archival purposes.